Whoa, okay. Local. Alt X. Why is this modifier? Oh, active origin, that's why. Okay. Rookie move. Then we have like a ramp in there. And the ramp starts. Oh, those are these are pretty thick actually. Clean the mesh. Pretty thick. Oh wait. Okay, I see. I see, I see. Let's do some a uh, control B. I mean control R then control B. And then control R then control B. And then just grab this and GX. Pull it in. And actually, this part should be scaled on the Y. Yeah, perfect. You bevel that. Now we can anchor that. Oh, what the fuck? G-Y. G-Y. Okay. Then, you can grab this, pull it back, and work on this ramp. Which starts, like, a third of the way through one of these blocks. So, actually... Like right there. And then it ends about right there. Then we have another big platform. Set another plane. Scale it. So let's get this big base foundation. GY. GX. GX, GY. Is it symmetrical? Yes. And then how far? So this base is about the width of this. So it's symmetrical. GY. Perfect. And extrude it. About the height of a, oh, but uh, up to there. And then we want to scale this down right to there. Where's my do for scale? Okay, this is too big. Should be more like that. Also, we can grab this and do a little curve extract here. Shift D Y. So the graphics. All right, and then oh, we got more of these obelisks. Let's throw those in. Oh, wait, this platform. So we have to scale this on the X. About like, about like that, and then shift DY. How oh, close? Okay. G 
question of why. It's one here. Okay, lined up with that edge. And then one lined up with that edge. And this one's a little bit lower. And then those are symmetrized over to here. Yes. I'm going to join them. I'm going to anchor that and then symmetrize it. Oh, yeah. Very good, very good. Delete that. I'm going to make this platform to put prefabs onto. Okay, so what's what's in this structure? What happens when you go in here? Whoa, jeez, Jesus! Might have to, I might delegate that one. Delegate the interior. Okay. Ooh, let's get like a sand trap color. That, does that look good? This needs to get its normals flipped. Alt and recalculate outside. Beautiful sand trap. What if we change the sky color? It's more like, yeah. Yeah. It's looking pretty good. We have this detail down here. GY. And then let's mirror that. Mirror that fucking cutter. Where's my mirror gizmo? I don't see it. What the fuck? Why is the... Okay. Click this. Click this. Alt X. Okay. Nice. Whoop. And then also... Bring this edge out. Like that. Perfect. Perfect. Sure, I'm recording. Oh yeah, I feel like I'm playing Xbox. Playing Xbox back in the day. All right, and we're back working on sand trap. So this looks like it's actually the same structure. So let us go ahead and duplicate. Shift Smart Apply, GY. It's about that far. Yes, and then also symmetrize it. But wait, is it longer? Yeah. Or is it the same width as that? It's slightly longer. Nano sites. Too, too much GY. Brilliant. You can grab these guys, these obelisks, and put them there. And also probably over here. Yep. Shift GY. GY. All right, now we can start working on some of these cuts. Let's check this out. Let's do these entrance cuts. What the fuck? 
Oh, it's because of the mirror. It's quite thin. Actually, I feel like this should be a little thinner too. Should everything be scaled a little bit on the X? better and then loop cut G GZ control B oh and this cutter actually goes all the way through wicked and then we can do a slice like right here X for slice Just want to apply the slice. And then we can do a pinpoint scale down on the Z, scale down on the Y. And then do another, do a little EM macro. EM macro. Very good. Let's do these greeble on the side. Let's go to object mode. What the? Oh, it's the mirror again. It's like a seventh of the width of this piece. GY. And then right at this edge, slightly above it. Extrude it. GX. And we have a loop cut here. Line this edge up with this edge. I think that's about it. I think it goes all the way down. Oh, but it's getting fucked up here to bring this down. Clean the mesh. Yeah, that's about right, because you can see there's a edge here and an edge here. But I guess they're not really beveled like that. Now, we can use, hide that, face extract this to solidify, anchor it. Can we just make some cuts? And actually what we can do here is Smart apply the solidify and do a selection to Boolean. And then cut the cutter. 
with uh, Engon. Engon. So we have one here. T. Yeah, about like that. But this should be kind of like parallel. Oops. Oh, wait, now we have to move this one. GX. And then GZ. Let's go with that. One, two, so then we have one, two, three, four, five. Five of them. Actually, here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. And this, I'm gonna bevel a little bit. Whoa. Yeah. Go with that. So then we have one, two, three, four, five all the way down to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. And do that. Nice, and then mirror that. Whoa. Mirror the cutter, actually. And then mirror the piece we just made. Very nice. Wonder if actually if I, if I could do like a slice, slice that out. Oh, but the bevel in the mirror. Delete that. Oops. Okay. Um, let me apply that in the, that in that. And then let's like extract this face. Smart apply it. Smart apply that. And then we can join these together. Sharpen it. Bevel it. Got to triangulate for the bevel. Okay, cool. Then we can do basically just cut that there. Duplicate it. GY. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Also, we can grab just grab this shift D Y G Y. Whoa, it's not. Wait a second. Duplicate this, anchor it, rotate it. Shift D Y. That should be centered. Whatever. Don't look too close at the sand trap replica. 